Welcome to the Exemplar's Tour of Problem Solving for the 21st Century. This program includes a suite of performance materials based on 21st century math concepts and skills for grades K through 5. More than 350 problem solving tasks are organized by rich units of study inspired by the NCTM focal points and leading state standards. Engaging tasks have been developed to address the big mathematical ideas within each unit. These may be used as supplements to your existing math curriculum. Let's start our tour by reviewing Grade 3. Each grade in this program has its own landing page and resource documents. Tasks are organized by units of study. Rubrics are an important component of exemplars. Our assessment rubric and student rubrics may be accessed here as well as on each task. The Tools for Success section provides users with valuable information on planning, instruction, and assessment. Printable classroom resources for student use are available here as well. Let's look at the Algebraic Reasoning Unit for Grade 3. All of the tasks that have been developed to address the big mathematical ideas in the Algebraic Reasoning Unit are listed on this page. A definition of the unit is provided. The math concepts and skills addressed in this unit are also listed. Exemplars provides educators with a series of instructional formative assessment tasks that can be used to introduce or explore math concepts. Corresponding summative assessments are also provided. These tasks are designed to evaluate the student's understanding of the concepts and skills addressed in the unit. Anchor papers and scoring rationales are included with each of these tasks. By changing the criteria in this box, Users can search for tasks by other units of study. Let's look at the instructional formative assessment task, Feeding Frogs and Lizards. Instructional tasks are intended to be used as opportunities for students to learn new mathematical strategies, language, and representations. They may also be done in pairs, groups, or as a whole class. Direct instruction may be used to question and support classroom discussion around an underlying math concept. Depending on a teacher's objective, these tasks may be used for formative assessment. The unit associated with each task is noted in the yellow box. To meet individual student needs, these tasks are differentiated at three entry points. Each problem includes a more accessible and a more challenging version. Each version features its own printer-friendly overhead, making it easy to hand out in class. The task-specific evidence provides an overview of what students are expected to do in order to solve the problem. The underlying math concepts found in each task, as well as the possible problem-solving strategies, mathematical vocabulary, and symbolic representation are also included. Possible solutions are provided as well as examples of mathematical connections. All of this information may be accessed at a glance for teachers on the printer-friendly preliminary planning sheet. Printer-friendly version of Exemplar's assessment rubric can be accessed here. This may be used in combination with the preliminary planning sheet as a tool for summative assessment. A more detailed explanation of our rubrics will follow in our review of a summative assessment task. Now let's look at the summative assessment task, a pail of pennies, for the algebraic and reasoning unit. Exemplar's summative assessment tasks are designed to evaluate the student's understanding of the concepts and skills addressed in the unit. These tasks include the same components as the instructional formative assessment tasks with two exceptions. They include student anchor papers and scoring rationales and are not differentiated. Summative assessment tasks feature samples of student work and scoring rationales at the four performance levels of Exemplar's assessment rubric. Novice, Apprentice, Practitioner, which meets the standard, and Expert. These tools demonstrate for teachers what work meets and does not meet the standard and explains why. The scoring rationales describe why each piece of student work is assessed at a specific performance level for each of the exemplar's rubric criterion. Anchor papers and scoring rationales 
are designed to provide guidelines and support for teachers as they assess their own student performance in problem solving. These are also a valuable staff development tool. Additionally, these resources may be used with students as a basis for self and peer assessment. They offer an effective way to provide students with examples and explanations of what work meets the standard. A printer-friendly version of these may be accessed here. A printer-friendly version of the Exemplar's assessment rubric may be accessed here. Exemplar's rubric criteria reflect the Common Core Standards for Mathematical Practice and the NCTM process standards. Teachers use our assessment rubric to assess student work. There are four levels of performance, novice, apprentice, practitioner, which meets the standard, and expert. Our scoring rubric allows teachers to examine student work against a set of analytic criteria to determine student performance. This assessment tool is designed to identify what is important, define what meets the standard, and distinguish between different levels of performance. Exemplars also provides a rubric for students that features kid-friendly language and images. This may also be used for self and peer assessment. Exemplars Problem Solving for the 21st Century is the perfect supplement for your curriculum. To sign up for a free trial, please visit exemplars.com slash products slash math slash ps-21.